Welcome to my fashion bunker, Jeremy Scott. I love you, Jeremy. I always have and I always will and, well, who knows? Sooner or later, our paths might cross in the best of ways. I came across really awkward, I did <laughs> No. No, no, no. It, it was meant in the best of ways. Now, a lot of you have been asking me for Fall Winter 16. What do I think about Jeremy Scott's Fall Winter 16 on catwalk and fashion show and collection? We're not talking about Moschino. We're not talking about the deceased Adidas collaboration. We're talking about Jeremy Jeremy. Um, I have reserved uh, opinions on it. I mean, okay, let's just put it this way. Jeremy is, you know, famous for not really caring much about repeating himself he, you know it's pop so you can reutilize it over and over and over and over again well the theme for the next season's collection um is going to be kind of like cowboys a little bit of you know cartoons as he always does but cowboys and poodles in a way well it's something he has been doing already or that he has done in the past hence you know my cowboy outfit for adidas same collection that they these beauties came from back in when was this spring summer 12 aren't they gorgeous it's a sneaker it's a, like a soft cell adidas cowboy boot but it's a sneaker but it's a boot so and poodle oh yeah somebody mentioned poodle yes sure somebody did mention poodle and somebody has a poodle it's a Jeremy Scott for Adidas Poodle. The Poodle is wearing the sunglasses that Jeremy Scott did a couple of seasons before that with Linda Farrow. And the Poodles were present before the, what was the Spring Summer 13 collection. The Poodles were already present within his own language and vocabulary in his own main line a couple of seasons prior to the Adidas collaboration with the Poodles. So as you can see, what we have here is kind of a repetition and a growth and you know an addition or maybe he would like you know take something away add something uh, to the collections he has never poodle wise i loved the print the poodle prints on top of clothes and like these kind of outer space poodles uh, that he used a couple of seasons prior to uh, to spring summer 12 or 13 for that matter um oh, i love this shoe but uh, whatever <laughs> it's like the shoe makes me totally forget what I was talking about but yes guys um so as you can see as far as his language goes things do repeat themselves now, now that's not a reason in his case and he's one of those rare reason, cases where I say it's fine let him repeat himself where it's not a bad thing um repetition in the language also means that you're rehearsing and repeating it could be either, either a mantra and the mantra is, is there to make things more real if you repeat them endlessly they just become reality and you know the whole world should be dressing up fun in these clothes not everybody dares some people think it's crazy some people think it's freaky i personally think it's just love for life literally because never have i ever experienced a situation when i'm wearing jeremy scott where people thought i was arrogant or they were kind of want to detach from me or were afraid to approach me when I wear his stuff, I become very approachable and I become not kind of approachable in a way how people laugh at you. People either laugh with you or they're authentically curious and they authentically smile at you. And it's a great uh, conversation opener, his clothes. And I think that's, that's the thing that makes him my favorite designer because with his clothes and with his fun, he unites people. He doesn't separate them. A lot of other designers, you know, when you dress in their clothes, you appear to be unapproachable and i do not believe in fashion as separation you know i don't believe in that kind of classification of uh nobleness and you know i don't believe in aristocracy really and i don't believe in uh kings and queens and why are you better than me you're a human being made of flesh blood bones just like the other human beings that roam this planet so why should i kiss your hand why should I bow at you? Why should my taxes go to fund your noble life? I don't get it. And I don't accept it. 
So you're a human being just like me, and as long as you are just like me, there's no reason why you should be treated any better than me. Um, and in fact, when you wear Jeremy Scott's clothes, everything becomes more unified. And this unity and, and this love for one another that his clothes literally emanate is something that I respect fully. So if I were to bow to somebody, that would be you, Jeremy, <laughs> but of course in the funnest of ways. Now, the collection itself, you know, he showcases women and men on the catwalk, um, beautiful kind of planets on fluffy, soft, soft, soft sweaters and cardigans. I love that. I, I love the prints and the patterns as usual. You know, a lot of basic, kind of basic, you know, he's not one of those designers that goes for the special tailoring, the special trims and the special cuts, but he goes for the prints, he goes for the pop approach, for the for the poster look of every of every of every piece, and uh, that's why we love him. The innovation this year was um, the uh, and I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, Jeremy or whoever or whoever for him, that he is not working with Linda Farrow anymore with for the sunglasses. It seems as though the new sunglasses that were showcased at his fashion show had like. They looked like Ray-Ban Wayfarers and had liquid inside of them in different colors and the liquid kind of moves inside of the glasses. That was really cool. And so they seem to have been made with Lapo Elkan, this Italian guy who is kind of the co-owner or owned or is still the owner of Fiat. So this huge, you know, big guy. Lapo, Lapo, Lapo. Well, whatever. No comments on him. The shade of it all, but it seems as though uh, the glasses are made in collaboration with him. So I, I guess Linda Farrow is out of the game for now. I'm not so sure, but so it would seem. And the glasses look really interesting. Of course, since it's the first collection with the liquid, they just did the basic liquid in the frame and in the temples, wavy, okay. But there's so much more you could have done. But anyway, it, it's a thing. It's something new. Uh, the shoes, since he's not collaborating with Adidas anymore, the shoes have become a bit boring. I mean, now it looks it all looks like Chucks, literally. They look like Converse sneakers with special prints. But I have to look more into detail, these shoes, for men and women. Um, as of now, I am not sure whether or not there is another Longchamp bag for Fall Winter 16. If there is, I haven't seen it yet. But if there is, and given the prints and collection that hit the runway uh, in, for New York Fashion Week uh, under the Jeremy Scott label, I do believe the print for the next Longchamp bag was going to be amazing. You know, the last one I bought was Fall Winter 15, and that was kind of the Humpty Dumpty collection. I did not get the Zodiac bag. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, I did get the two Mad Balls bags. Of course, I love those. Those are my favorite bags to date. Um, the TV color bars, yeah, it's okay, but he could have pushed it more, you know? Uh, I would love to see poodles. I would love, uh, Jeremy, you know, you use poodles all the time anyway, so why not use it on a long champ bag? Now, you have done something with a poodle in the past, but just like do a lot of poodles, poodles, poodles. Pink poodles, wouldn't this be amazing? So anyway, that's just an idea. Cowboy, thingamajiggy, fringes, a long champ bag with fringes, boots, something, I don't know, whatever. Whatever you do, we're gonna love it anyway, Jeremy. But um, yeah, a lot of innovation for Fall Winter 16, no. Do we love him anyway? Of course we do, of course we love him. He is the designer who's there for freedom of expression and speech and to be who you are. Not just acceptance, mind you, because tolerance and acceptance are tricky words. They can be nasty if used in the wrong context and improperly and unjustly. He doesn't accept and tolerate. He literally embraces everything and anything and anybody. And that is something extremely beautiful. That is pure love. And that is something that his clothes transcend and represent to me. Well, there you have it, guys. So yes, <laughs> Jeremy Scott for president in 2020. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thumb up this video if you liked it. Comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Not just about Fall Winter 16, and you can check it out, you know, online, wherever, uh, on his website or on other websites that showcase um, New York Fashion Week. So let me know what you think about the Fall Winter 16 Jeremy Scott collection. Let me know what you think about this amazing Adidas stuff that I have from the past, 2012 and 2013. And in general, you know, life and stuff, because I'm collecting also comments for the next channel talk. Love you all. Thank you so much. Subscribe. See you soon. Don't ever give up on love. Mwah.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun!